He was warm, felt home. Someone you could always count on. This is what makes me even more guilty. I saw my ex there. He's changed, looking amazing. I found out he improved a lot. I drank a few glasses and he came over asking me to dance. I told him I can't do it because I was married. My friends pushed over saying it was an innocent dance. I couldn't resist and we danced a bit. I cheated on my husband with my ex-boyfriend. Devastated and guilt is ruining my life. Oh, it's ruining your life. Oh, throw away for obvious reasons. I'm 29. Hubs is 31. Ex is 26. Me and my husband have been married for four years. Whereas me and my ex have been together for five. Ex was 17. I was 19 for anyone wondering. I always had an amazing chemistry with my ex. He was my first and I was his first. We took each other's V card. However, he was abusive. We moved in together when he was 19. We both worked. I eventually got pregnant when I found out he cheated on me multiple times throughout the relationship. He became abusive and eventually I lost the baby. I never got off from it. My ex further turned abusive and manipulative and soon after he broke up with me and he threw me out. I'm not very much attractive. I've got scars given to me by my ex. Childhood trauma and my parents were, weren't supportive of me and my ex, so we broke up. They didn't, they didn't help much as they were so righteous and believed it was my fault. I met my husband when I was 23 and worked for a small firm. He was one of our big clients. I was blown off by him. He was everything a woman would dream of. Charming, young, handsome, got his life together and darn humorous. We became friends and after a year, we started dating. He was warm, felt home. Someone you could always count on. This is what makes me even more guilty. He always told me dignity was most important to him and how he hates cheaters. We got married a year later. And fast forward to now. We were doing great. Two weeks back, my mutual friends organized a party. A homecoming type, even where every high school friend of mine would be at. It was exclusively for us, and hence, my husband couldn't join us. I saw my ex there. He's changed, looking amazing. I found out he improved a lot. I drank a few glasses, and he came over asking me to dance. I told him I can't do it because I was married. My friends pushed over, saying it was an innocent dance. I couldn't resist, and we danced a bit when he leaned in. It was a big mistake. We kissed. It was passionate. Some people clicked our pics. I found this out later. I wasn't me. I was drunk and barely in my senses. He pulled me over and we started kissing right on the dance floor while everyone was watching. I don't remember much, but he pulled me over and drove to his house. My husband called me multiple times, but I couldn't answer him. I woke up the morning not wearing any clothes. He showed me a video of us getting it in and him saying, I love you, and I, and I whispering it back. I'm devastated. I left his place and was asking him never to contact me again. My husband was suspicious at first, but I lied to him. I was with my friends. He bought this. My ex keeps sending me text messages. I found out my friend recorded me and my ex kissing right in front of everyone and how we became a hot topic all around. It's bullcrap. I messed up. I destroyed my marriage. I found out later on he has a girlfriend and it makes me want to throw up even more. I'm thinking I want to come clean about it to my husband, but he told me cheating was a deal breaker. 
My husband is a well-respected and esteemed person, so I won't have any chance to get a good job if we divorce. I don't know what to do. Please help me out. A small update. You guys are right. I can't undo what I did. I can't lie or gaslight him. It was my fault. I, w I went there and I gave in to the dance when I could have said no in a strict tone. I was drunk and I lost control of my consciousness. But this isn't an excuse. I messed up. Massively. I'm going to talk to him. Come clean. He's a wonderful man. I know what I did and all that matters now is how, res how respectful I act. Either I can hide and he will find out sooner or later and divorce me. Or I can come clean and that way I can have the little bit of dignity left in me. And even if he divorces... I'll be glad I had the courage to come clean. It's evening here. You will be returning soon. I'll update if I can. Thank you. Wow. Piece of crap. I have the perfect husband. My ex was so abusive. He did this and did. He was such a horrible guy. My new husband, my husband now, the best in the world. Every woman would want him. So I cheated on him with the abusive ex. It makes no sense, guys. It makes zero sense. You just gotta, they just gotta F up their situations. They just can't help it. I have to ruin this. I have to cause chaos. Life isn't life without chaos. Oh, man. Let's check out the comments. Truth shall set you free. By the sound of it, that's very much the case. What help are you looking for here? All you can really do is own up to this. There's video evidence. <laughs> right. Face the music. You know. Action. Reaction. Decision. Consequences. Cause. Effect. Your husband probably deserved better, though. Poor guy is going to face inevitable alimony payments. Ooh. The guys, is it worth it? She gets to cheat on him, disrespect him, and he has to pay her alimony, probably. He's going to have to take care of her. Mm, mm, mm. You need to tell him. I suggest you write it in a letter and give it to him if you can't tell him in person but be in the next room as he is reading it so he can talk to you afterwards. Your only chance of saving your relationship with him is if you tell him and he doesn't hear it from someone else. If he hears it from someone else, your relationship and Mary is guaranteed to be over. You guys you know what she's going to do if she does tell him? If she does tell him, what she's going to do is just say, we kissed because there's evidence of that, pictures of it. We kissed on the dance floor. That's it. And I left with my friend. She's not going to say I slept with him. He has video recording of me telling him I love him. She's blaming it all on the alcohol. I don't remember saying those things. I don't know how my clothes came off. Really? You drank that much? <laughs> okay. You don't remember anything. See, they just be lying. Like, Why? He's going to find out as this was very public. Also, now there is a bedroom action video of you and your ex's possession. You now have to face the consequences of what you have done. You make it sound like nothing was in control and that is also wrong. So if your ex comes around again, you will cheat again. As your post shows, you cannot say no to him. Right. Hope you find a way to fix yourself as this is going to get far worse for you. I really feel bad for your husband. As people have taken photos and videos and your ex has a video, I suspect it's more of a case of when he finds out rather than if. By the sound of it, it either way, it's over between you. I think the question you need to be asking yourself is, would you rather he found now from you or, or later from someone else? Which would you prefer if the situation was the other way around? Well, it sounds like you were set up by your so-called friends and you should tell your husband before he sees the video. Your husband deserves to know. 
He doesn't deserve to live with someone who crossed the one boundary that completely, that's completely unacceptable to him. You should think about him and not yourself here. Absolutely. Tell the truth so he can move on and find an actual good partner to marry. You allowed yourself in this situation. Now live with being a cheating piece of crap. Absolutely. That's ridiculous. Guys, let me know what you think about this in the comments. It's been six months since leaving my husband for another man. It's been six months since leaving my husband. Six months since I left him for another man. Six months that I have been experiencing the utmost happiness while also experiencing the most gut-wrenching guilt. Six months that I have been paying for my choice through reduced access to, to my most amazing children ever. Six months where I have stayed silent on this topic because of the guilt and fear of being judged for what I did. I'm not staying silent anymore. When I married, I meant what I said in my vows and never intended for it to be my starter marriage like some do. It was a forever thing, or so I thought. Unfortunately, some small differences grew to be bigger ones over the years. And for a while, I was sitting alone at night working out a budget for if we did split. Could we afford the house and cars and daycare and child expenses and everything else? I loved my husband and my neighborhood, and I knew if I was the one to leave, I would have to give that all up. We have children, and I have no idea how this would affect them. I had no idea how to co-parent or how to share time or any of those things. But as those lonely nights became more, with him downstairs and me upstairs, I didn't know how much longer I could do it for. Instead of facing my unhappiness and voicing my concerns, I put on a happy face, sent loving text messages every day, and slept around in secret. It didn't make me feel good. The guilt was killing me. But knowing that I could feel attractive and wanted again made me keep going back for more. Until eventually everything changed overnight. Someone who I had been attracted to for a while showed interest. And after the first kiss, I knew that I couldn't stay married any longer. One night, as my husband and I were sitting down to watch a movie, I blurted out that I had been cheating. I left that night and moved out soon after. I never wanted to cause as much hurt as I did that night. He hadn't done anything to deserve that. But I didn't know how else to handle the situation. It was selfish, and for that, I lived with the, with the guilt of it. My children suffered through three moves in six months, switching schools, varying schedules, and parents with ever-changing temperaments. I can't watch a movie with the mom and kids in it and not cry anymore, no matter if it's a happy or sad movie. The nights my kids aren't with me, I miss them every single minute, being a part-time parent was never my wish. My kids can drive me crazy, but I still want to be there for all of the insane and hair-pulling moments. I want to be there to kiss them when they are hurt and to tell them to go to sleep a million times each evening. But I wake up now every morning happy despite my homewrecker label. The kids are adjusting and opening up to me about their feelings. And I see a light at the end of the tunnel. If I could do it all over again, I would try to do it differently. But I would still do it, because despite all the problems in my guilt, I am happier, and that makes me a better mom and a better partner. My marriage was not that bad, and my husband is a great man and great father. Unfortunately, I don't handle conflict well, and over the years found myself drifting apart from him as we had very different ideas and ideals of what we enjoyed. I should have talked more about it. We probably should have gone to counseling. I never wanted to hurt him, and for a long time I figured that I better become a better person and change because my morals were lacking. But... I knew the discussion would be one of 
one of judgment. There were already hurt feelings from previous things done in the relationship that were always lingering in the background. You were never spoken about. The truth was that I never felt good, good enough for him, not being myself anyway, and that it isn't to say that being a lying, cheating wife, I should have felt good or he should have accepted me for that. Before any of that, I had felt the same. I guess the lying and cheating was my way to justify my feelings. Obviously, I have work to do on myself. I am not perfect. I do not think cheating on your partner is a good idea, and I recognize the hurt that it causes, and I do not wish that on anyone. I don't regret my decision to leave, just the way that I did it, and I will live with that because I made the mistake, and I own that. It was my fault, but it still hurts sometimes, though, and it will take time to get over that for both of us, I think. Cheating isn't a good thing. I am lucky that I have some amazing friends who support me, but I think I'm a terrible person. I may have made a terrible choice, but that doesn't make me a terrible person. At least that is what I keep trying to tell myself. I do feel horrible about what I did. Any because people are judged so harshly when they cheat, many have to live with guilt and negative feelings and lost friends and have no outlet for that because they are one who caused the pain. So they don't get to claim that they have any. I am learning many lessons every day since I left and I will live with the guilt too. I'm okay with that or becoming okay with that anyway. But those in a similar situation can see that it's okay to feel bad and say so. Sure, I screwed up and I am not asking for a free pass on, on that. Just the ability to explain my side of the story and realize that it is not guilt free pain-free ride on this side either, and I do not want anyone's sympathy or think I deserve it. I know I was 10% in the wrong, 10%, and that, is, and that is the choice I made and the consequences I live with, but that doesn't mean those in the situation should have to stay silent. 10% wrong? I know, sure, I could have left him and not told him I was cheating, but at that point everything needed to be laid on the table and the truth needed to come out, not because I wanted to hurt him more, but because if I didn't, someone would have told him, and that would have been worse. Should have tried harder, maybe should have done more, likely, but I didn't. Relationships are unique to each couple, group, people, and this is how mine played out. Some people go into marriages thinking that it will not be their last. Those who joke about it, but honestly believe that, that it is their first marriage and not their last. That's fine if that works for them, but it wasn't what I thought when I got married. I do, see, I do share custody of my children, but I am not the primary caregiver as I didn't want to uproot them from their home when I left. It's hard having as pawns when he is mad mad at something I do, and then decide to reduce my access and claim that it is better for the kids that way. We are working on it, but I have a long road to go. I just, I just try to be the best mom I can when I do have them, and let them know how much they are loved by everyone. Piece of crap. What a piece of crap she is. I have this guilt. So this is what she feels bad about. She just hates that people view her as a homewrecker or uh, someone who, 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 who ruined the marriage. Is that what she... Yeah, homewrecker label, despite my homewrecker label. That's what she cares about, how other people view her. You know, she doesn't love her husband. You guys hear her say, a starter marriage? Is that, is that what they're going for now? This is just my starter marriage. I'll divorce him when I find someone better. Wow. They're just marrying people, settling for that plan B, and still hoping for plan A to come along. As soon as he does, I'm out. That was just my starter marriage. What? I've heard of people saying back in the day, start a house is, you know, get your get you a starter house or, you know, don't jump jump to something big yet. Yeah, get something small, get a starter house. You know, start a car or whatever. A starter marriage? Guys, a starter marriage? Are you serious? 
ridiculous. She's a piece of crap. Let's check out the comments. It is time to forgive yourself for all of the fragile hearts you fumbled in the dark of your confusion. That's part of a quote I read recently that struck such a chord with me. So many times, people try to tell us that it's okay or we didn't really hurt anyone. It's important to acknowledge the ones we hurt, as you have done. But it's also important to acknowledge that you cannot change that hurt. You can only forgive yourself and try to show more love and kindness and forgiveness. I'm sorry you felt driven to a path that caused such pain to so many people. I'm sorry that your guilt and fear over what people would say kept you quiet for so long. I hope you find peace and happiness and that you are able to share that with your children, your new partner, and your co-parent. Someone said, she did not fumble his heart. It's more like she spiked it in the end zone and then kicked the field goal with it. <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. Just out of curiosity, I'd love to hear more of your story as far as why you and your husband were so unhappy. Did you do anything to try to work on your marriage? Did he know how unhappy you were? Did you ever talk about it or go to counseling, etc., etc.? The thing that struck me was the inclusion of the fact that you were still sending him loving text messages every day while sleeping around. Why? Were you just playing a role or trying to bridge the gap or covering your tracks? As a reader, it would help me understand where you were coming from if there was a little more to this story. I'm happy to hear you found happiness despite the turmoil and obvious difficulties. I resignate a lot with this. I was not 100% committed to my marriage and thought I'd never give up until I was so miserable I felt I was, I felt I was sinking. Fortunately, we had no kids to complicate things. Thanks for sharing your processing, healing, and internal battles. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. Trust me. Marriage is about committing to working together to create a healthy relationship despite being unhappy. Yeah. Some, some don't. Mm -mm. You are certainly free to make any choices you want, right or wrong. 10% wrong? Really? I think you forgot a zero on the end of that 10%. Absolutely. Thank you. What is she, what is she talking about? I was 10% wrong. So are you saying your husband was 90% wrong? Really? You write him love letters while you're getting banged out by some other guy into pieces? Smiling in his face saying, I love you. Can't wait to see you when I get home. Probably still getting it in with him. He think he's, he think he's taking care of his family as a loving wife. And you only caused 10, you were only 10% of the issue? Wow.